Stay tuned as I check out this John Wick Chapter 2 from Mafex. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And before San Diego Comic Con and before the influx of Marvel Legends, I thought I'd throw up a quick review for this John Wick Chapter 2 Mafex number 80. Five. Now, I passed on the first John Wick figure as I really wanted the one with the dog. So this one actually comes with the dog accessory and he also comes with some guns. He comes with a hand holding the pencil. As you know, John Wick is a dangerous man with a pencil. Uh, you get two interchangeable heads and that suited body as well. It's very useful for just kit bashing and using with other action figures and stuff. Might even put a Tony Stark head on that. I've got a Bruce Wayne Mafex I might be able to use with that. So it's a pretty good base body to have in your collection regardless. But I'm a massive fan of John Wick franchise, so I had to have this guy on the shelf. So as always, Mayfix packaging, big window box, pictures on the back, uh, on the side, and as you can see, there's that dog. Here's a few poses of the Mayfix. So Mayfix are getting better and better with every release. So without further ado, let's not waste any more time and get him open. And here we have John Wick out of the box with all of the accessories he comes packed with, including some guns, interchangeable hands, a beaten up interchangeable head. But of course, my favorite accessory is the little doggy. Ah, uh, doesn't he look good? Uh, this is the reason I brought this set. As I said, the chapter one version looked good with the black shirt, but I quite like the white and black typical suit. And then the dog packing was a nice touch. So obviously I'll go through all the accessories real quick, but I'll do that once we have a quick look at the figure. So nothing crazy, it's just a guy in a suit. But again, this is a good for a kit bashing. You can pop his head off, not a problem. And you can put a, an array of action figure heads on this guy. And then you have your favorite action figure in a suit. It is nice and simple. Uh, so it's a pretty good figure just to have in your collection. Um, and the articulation for a suited body is pretty good. You're not gonna break any joints uh, because they will just pop off. Like the arms pop off, not a problem, but they snap back in easy. The articulation on them is pretty good. Double jointed elbows, of course. Double jointed knees, no, but not very good. But still, realistic, I guess. His shoes have even got a joint on, um, but you don't want anyone's feet doing that. That wouldn't look good. Um, but I do like his shoes, very pointy. Um, remind me of the shoes in Kingsman, where uh, the knives pop out the bottom. Um, maybe they are the same shoes as the Kingsman guys, because I know Mafex did some of them. Uh, we've got the black tie, uh, the waist, swivel, little diaphragm joint. So yeah, decent articulation for a guy wearing a suit, let's be honest, but it is just a suited action figure. Nothing crazy. And again, let's have a quick look at this doggy. Uh, does he name the dog? I don't think he does, does he? He just calls him dog. Um, but the only articulation on this guy is the head, but you're not gonna get much. You're gonna get a bit of up and down and then you can twist him, but that's about it. The legs have got no articulation at all. It's all one piece. It looks like there's articulation there, but it's not, they're glued in. So the only articulation is the head. So you can give him a little bit of character when he's stood there uh, next to John. But uh, I do think they scale quite well. That scene at the start of uh, chapter two where they're walking off in the rain. Um, but yeah, these two look pretty good together. So let's have a look at everything else. Now it's probably obvious to you, but I have no knowledge about guns. So this is just a machine gun looking type gun, but it does have the strap so he can put it over his shoulder and carry it around with him. Uh, decent sculpting, a bit of gold there. Uh, but other than that, it's just all black, but decent sculpt work. And then this uh, sort of strap is uh, just made of a sort of cloth material. So it can dangle, sit over him. It literally have it over his shoulder if you wanted to, over his head um, and he can just carry it. It's easy, not a problem. Um, moving on to the next gun. I definitely know this is a shotgun because I can see the shell right there on the on the side. Bit of gold, but all black on the side. So again, decent, looks all right. Then he comes with two sort of pistols. Again, don't know what they're called, but one's smaller than the other. Um, but yeah, that one's bigger than that one. But they're both black handles with the sort of a greyish silver top. Um, but yes, we come with those four guns and then plenty of interchangeable hands, which I'll get into now. So John Wick comes with some open palm hands out of the packaging. 
So you can even see his little wedding ring there. He's still loyal. Of course, John Wick comes with a pair of fisted hands for all that punching he does. And again, I should mention the hands uh, are so easy to pop on and off. They literally just pop off and go on that peg there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. He comes with two hands for holding his guns. This one's definitely a trigger finger, uh, but this one's not a trigger finger, but it will just hold maybe the shotgun or something. Um, I will have to find out when I try and get him to hold the guns. And then the last two are a little bit gimmicky. This one is sort of an open palm, so we can sort of rest his shotgun on it. I assume that's why it's there, because his shotgun fits in there nice and simple. And then the other hand is the uh, pencil holding hand. So I don't know how well that will focus, because uh, it is a tiny little pencil, but it is nicely sculpted and painted there. Um, so yeah, don't mess with John Wick when he's uh, doing his crossword. So there's the first head sculpt. Does it look like Keanu Reeves? Do you like it? I think it looks pretty good. I like his hair, I like his beard. Um, definitely looks like Keanu Reeves to me. Definitely got that John Wick feel to it. And then the other head easily pops on. And this is of course how we see John most of the time. It's a little bit beaten up. And I like how the hair this time is sort of dangling over his head. Obviously, he's been sweating. You can see some scars and some blood. And he's even frowning a little bit more than the other head. So there's the two head sculpts. Pick your poison. Uh, but both look really good and definitely see Keanu Reeves in both of them. So that's how easy it is to get John Wick looking good on your shelf. There he is holding a couple of his guns. He's got one trigger hand, but the gun does fit in the trigger very, very nicely on all of the guns. He's holding that uh, shotgun there for that one hand reload and then that other bat, uh, gun is strapped to his back and you can see the sort of uh, strap goes underneath the jacket so it holds in place nicely and all the guns are there nice and tight. So again, it's hard to get this guy in a boring pose as he just looks so cool pose there with all of his guns. And again, you've got all the hands and stuff to mess around with and the interchangeable head. You're gonna be very happy with this guy. So uh, before we finish up, let's uh, see if we can use this suited body on other figures and uh, also get a little bit of a size comparison on the go. So here we have John compared to some of our Marvel legends in suited bodies. So look how perfect that scale Scales up. Even the dog scales really well with the legends. So if I move him out the way, it is virtually spot on. So here we have Tony Stark, Chameleon, and of course Everett Ross all in their suited bodies. And again, John Wick scales perfectly. I think the body's a little bit slimmer, of course, but still, the height is perfect. So can we swap maybe a Tony Stark head and put it on the John Wick body? Let's try that. Um, but again, look how close they are. The shoulders virtually line up. It is virtually perfect. And uh, if you're a Marvel Legends collector, then you know how hard it is to get three suited bodies standing up. So a uh, round of applause to me. But uh, let's move them out the way. Let's take John's head off. Take Tony's head off. And uh, okay, so the skin tones don't match at all. And the peg, uh, obviously, the, is too small. So it sort of sinks on the neck. But uh, maybe you can do some customizing and get that to work, paint the hands adjust the net peg. Uh, again, possibilities, there's potential, but it isn't perfect. Uh, I do have this SH Figure Arts Tony Stark, uh, which is a little bit shorter, uh, but it is a better head sculpt than the Marvel Legend. Uh, so if I pop that off, see if this will pop on. Uh, no, I don't think it will. The pegs are different. And again, the skin tone is different as well. But I thought I'd give that a try. But uh, obviously doesn't work. Sorry, Tony. You're going to have to stay in your Iron Man 3 costume for now. But uh, again, the scale's not too bad with them. And the last Mayfex figure I got was this Bruce Wayne from Justice League. And uh, again, these should scale really well together. And obviously, Ben Affleck is taller than Keanu Reeves. So if he is a little bit taller, it makes sense. And obviously, Bruce Wayne's a lot bulkier than John Wick. So again, I think that does look good uh, and scale quite well. But does the Ben Affleck head fit on this body? It should do. The pegs should be similar. So is it plugging in? Okay, so it popped into place. So there is your Ben Affleck head on the John Wick body. And let's put John Wick head on this body. Uh, someone online did want Keanu Reeves to be Batman and Bruce Wayne, uh, but it doesn't look perfect, does it? The Bruce Wayne head uh, is definitely too big for that body, and the John Wick head is definitely too small for that suited body. So it was a nice idea. We tried. No, John, don't do it. He's your loyal companion. Um, no, of course he wouldn't shoot his dog. Bloody hell, if you kill his dog, uh, it's game over. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to be that guy. 
we all know how that goes. Uh, but yeah, final thoughts on this guy, really happy. Uh, I knew I would be. It's a, a guy in a suit with some guns. Um, and John Wick, the films are really good. And we're even getting a fourth one. So the franchise is going to continue. So uh, yeah, really happy I got this uh, chapter two version as it comes with the little unnamed dog. What shall we name this dog? Let's us on my YouTube channel name this dog. So comments below if you've watched this video this long, then uh, let me know what we should name this dog in the comments below. What does he look like? What should he be called? You let me know in the comments below. Um, but yes, I'm going to go because I'm talking far too long. But you know what to do, people. Go and check out the videos tab. Tons of reviews. Occasionally, I throw in reviews like this, but it's mainly Marvel Legends. You know the score. But uh, as always, people, my name is Dan W. Please, 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 please hit that subscribe button. And as always, I shall see you on the next one.